Assalamu alaikum and a very good day to all viewers out there. I'm Madam Yusnaliza. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to continue with the uh, video presentation on question June 2019, question 1 on MFRS 116. And this is for the topic MFRS 116 PPE under the cost code. F A R three two zero F A R three two zero Okay F A R three two zero is a course taught at the diploma level in the Faculty of Accountancy U I T M Okay let's start So I'm uh, this is the second part of the video if you have not watched the first part of the video please check it out in my channel and um, this is the second part that will continue at the uh, point that I stop, which is question 1D. Let's start. Suzuku Manufacturing Company in, is a manufacturing company in Negeri Sembilan, and they own two land. One land is in Senawang, right? They own two lands. One land is in Senawang, and the other land is in Seremban. So this is land in Senawang and this is the land in Surumba. Suzuku purchased both land in 1999. So this is the date of acquisition of the land and that was actually on 1st of July 1999. And you have the information related to the two land uh, as follows. So the initial cost on 1st of July was 6 million and 7 million respectively and then you have a fair value information on 1st of July 2009 for your information this company adopts a revaluation model if you proceed and look at the next part of the question right if you look at the next part of the question it is using revaluation model for the first revaluation this is what you call initial revaluation they use revaluation model and there are initial revaluation which is on 1st of July 2009. It was revalued to 5.8 million. So land is not a depreciable asset. So the carrying amount here is at cost. But as at on uh, 1st of July, that will be the carrying amount. Right? Cost is the carrying amount as at 1st of July. And the carrying amount will be compared with the fair value. So fair value is given here. So we will compare this with the carrying amount. Respectively, they are at uh, 6 million and 7 million. Next, in, that was the initial revaluation. Subsequently, the company also revalue the, for the second time. When you revalue asset for the second, third, fourth, or whatever subsequent revaluation that is considered as a subsequent revaluation and under subsequent revaluation the first fair value that you have in the in the initial revaluation will now be the carrying amount so this carrying amount is the previous fair value and you will compare with the fair value the second fair value this is the first fair value and you will see that uh, for the land in Senawang, the pattern is where at first it was revalued downwards, right? And downwards, which is at the deficit. And later it was revalued upward, which is at a surplus. Whereas for the land in land in Suramban, at first it was revalued upwards, which is a surplus. And later on, after um, 10 years, right, it was revalued, after 8.5 years, it was revalued at um, a deficit. So let's look at the each uh, diagram that I have drawn for land and for uh, land in Senawang and land in Suramban. Okay, let's look at what happened for land in Senawang in a diagram. So it was bought on 1st of July 1999, which is the date of acquisition, at 6 million. So this is the cost. That is the cost, right? 
that was the cost on the day of acquisition this is the cost the initial cost and then uh, after 10 years on 1st of uh, July 2009 on 1st of July 2009 you revalued and that was revalued at 5.8 million and that is the fair value the first fair value so this is the first fair value right fair value I put here fair value 1 and it means that this is initial revaluation so on this date you are going to compare with the carrying amount and the carrying amount will be the one that you have here 6 million you will compare that with 5.8 and if you do that you compare the two you will get a difference of 200,000 and that is a deficit why because carrying amount are more than is more than the fair value and to record that on its initial revaluation which is on 1st of July 2009 you're going to debit the support which is to record that as a deficit on revaluation as an expense 200,000 and deficit will be expense of in the year incurred and it will be credited to the land in Senawang 200,000 so it is being expensed off because it was a deficit next the subsequent revaluation took place on 1st of January 2018 at 6.1 million and this is the second revaluation where the fair value number two is five point is six point one million and now your fair value last few years will now be your carry amount so the fair value as at 1st of July 2009 as at 1st of January 2018 will be the new carrying amount. So you will compare that with 5.8 and you will get a surplus. Right. So if that will give you a surplus. After eight and a half years, as I mentioned, it was revalued again. A surplus of 300,000 or 0 0.3 million. That surplus or revaluation, because that was a subsequent revaluation, MFRS 116, prescribe that you should reverse the previous deficit first yeah in the sopel and that is to be treated as other income in the current year meaning that in the second uh, revaluation year right however if there is still balance if let's say you have to uh, uh, you know to reverse this deficit yeah to the maximum you could if there is still balance of surplus that cannot be uh, reverse using the deficit you have to go and credit them to the ARR so that means the entry will be like this for the second revaluation subsequent revaluation because you have a sopel before this was 200,000 right now you need to go and credit them to the sopel before this you debit now you go and credit to the sopel because deficit has already been expensed off you that will be treated as other income right to the maximum of 200,000 meaning that whatever the previous deficit was and the remaining uh, 100,000 which cannot be um, reversed using the deficit will now be credited to the ARR which is ARR related to land in Senawang so this will be treated as other comprehensive income in that year so it will also be shown in the sopel uh, disclosed as other comprehensive income and the arr will be treated as an equity item at the same time in the other income section you will have an item related to reversing the the previous deficit of two hundred thousand, and therefore the land will now be shown in the sop p statement of financial position at 6.1 million for that current accounting period okay that was for the second and first revaluation next uh in this case land in Suramban, it was the reverse case where at first when you revalue that 7 million it was revalued on 1st of july 2009 and it was revalued at 9.5 so this is the fair value first fair value and your cost here will now be your carrying amount 
on this date. So if you compare, that was 7 million versus 9.5 million. If you compare that to, you will see that there is this uh, surplus of 2.5. Because there is a surplus, that surplus be happened when carrying amount are less than the fair value. It will be recorded on its initial revaluation. The question does not ask you, but I'm just showing you to let you know the entry. So we pass the entry to let you know. So a uh, debit PPE land in Suramban, it must be debited to the uh, land in Suramban's account, not land in Senawang. And it will be credited to the ARR for land in Suramban. So when you credit to the revaluation reserve, you also need to disclose that in the other comprehensive income OCI section in the statement of profit or loss. Disclose. So that will disclose 2.5 million there as well as it will also be shown in the ARR under statement of changes equity to be also 2.5 million. Next, subsequently on 1st of January 2018, again another eight and a half years later, you revalue. And this is your second fair value, fair value 2. And now your previous fair value will be your carrying amount. Your carrying amount here is uh, 9.5 this one is 9.35 so you will compare the two so if you compare the two yeah you will compare you will get what you compare is comparing fair value with the deemed carrying amount deemed carrying amount is the revalued amount so this 9.5 million is revalued amount because we are using revaluation model right so therefore you have 0 0.15 which is a deficit and remember, this is the subsequent revaluation, the second revaluation. So deficit will not be debited straight away to the SOPL. Why? Because previously there was a, a surplus relating to the same land. So according to MFRS 116, you need to charge any deficit against any related ARR if any, if you have any balance. So in our case, we have a balance of 2.5. To the extent the deficit does not exceed the balance held, so it cannot exceed uh, more, it cannot be more than 2.5 million. The maximum that you can uh, charge against the related ARR is just 2.5 million. If, however, there is not enough balance in the ARR, the remaining um, deficit will have to be expensed off in the SOPL in the year incurred. So, what does that mean? It means that. First, you need to check this, your ARR balance. And then you compare with this, your deficit. So if you compare, ARR balance is more than enough to cover up the deficit. So therefore, there is no need for you to go and expense off to the SOPL. You don't need to do that. You just need to do this. So therefore, you will debit ARR. So when you debit ARR, you also need to adjust in the OCI, other comprehensive income here. In the SOPL, you must adjust that as well, right? So by reducing the and other comprehensive income in 2018. And that is enough to cover up 150,000. Don't go and debit to the SOPL. Just debit to the ARR balance that you earlier held. And credit that to the land in Surumbai. Okay, so these are the entry. You are asked to prepare the journal entry to record the transaction on 1st of January. So 1st of January 2018 is not on the first revaluation. That was on the second and subsequent revaluation. So I've already done that for you just now. I've done for land in Senawang. And I also uh, have shown you how do we dip, do we uh, actually pass entry if it's for the first revaluation. And this is for separate uh, ARR. And this ARR here is ARR for land in Senawang. So do not mix up because they are different land in different locations. So you cannot go and offset against different land. It must be on the same piece of land. So these are those entries I have shown earlier. Okay. And that's it for the for this second part of the video. I will see you again in the third video which will continue with the remaining parts of the question. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Do catch me later. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'll see you when I will see you.